this super cute tulip stitch, you will need a hook, whatever goes with your yarn. I am using a five millimeter. You will need a pair of scissors and you will eventually need a darning needle. I have chosen uh, three different colors for my tulips. This is going to be your base color and your leaf color and your flower color or your tulip color and you will decide how much space you want for your base color in between your rows of tulips in multiples of two. So this is four rows of single crochet. You need to at least do two rows of single crochet then they're much closer together. So get your supplies ready and let's get started. I have all my yarns caked up and ready to go. You're going to start by using your, um, I'm using parchment, you will use whatever you want to be the band in between your rows of, rows of tulips. So we're going to do a chain. Uh, you're going to need to leave a tail long enough to weave in with a needle and thread. I leave about five inches, I suppose. Um, we're going to be doing a chain of, in multiples of three. So you can either do the math and then count out all the way or you can just count until it's the right length for your project and chain loosely not too tight I'm going to be using the same size hook but you can also go up a size or up half a size if you chain your foundation chains tightly so just count one two three one two three one two three one two three one two three, one, two, three, until your project is as long as you want it to be. I'm going to be making the front of a cushion, so I'm going to be making mine quite a bit longer. So just keep counting multiples of three until you have it the length that you would like. Okay, that is definitely about the length I want. So now chain two, one, two, and we're going to start by doing single crochets all the way back. So skip the first stitch, the first chain, go into the second chain, which is the second V. You can, of course, go into the camel bumps if you're going to be um, making something where you're going to be seeing the edge. But because I'm making a pillow, I'm going to be um, crocheting it together along the edge so it doesn't totally matter. So I'm going to skip this first stitch and I'm going to go into the second the second stitch from my hook. So you're going to go into the stitch, wrap your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two. So no wrapping the yarn first. Going to go into the stitch, grab the yarn, bring it back, wrap the yarn and take off two. So that is a single crochet. And we're just going all the way back along our work. For my single crochets I, into my foundation chain, I'm going in, I'm putting two loops on my hook, so I'm going into the bottom part of the chain. You don't have to, just do whatever, whichever way you're doing it, just do it consistently. Uh, if you're just going into one loop or you're going into two, I'm going into two. And your work will start curling up like a little uh, spiral pasta, that's normal single crochet does that, don't worry about it, it will go away. So just keep going, one single crochet into each stitch of your foundation chain. So pause the video and I'll see you at the end of this row. This is my last stitch here. Just make sure you go into your last stitch, making a single crochet. So that is finished for our foundation chain. That's the fiddly bit over with, thank goodness. So now we are going to chain one turn our work and now we're going to come all the way back. So our rows of foundation or base color, this what I'm using for parchment, you use that, um, you make multiples of two. So you need two rows of single crochet or four rows of single crochet or six rows of single crochet. But to start, uh, just always start with two so that when you're going around your piece to make a border, your bottom part where you started isn't so much fatter than the, than the top or the sides. You can still work your way around and make a pretty even border. So work your way back one single crochet into each stitch. Um, 
and we will meet at the end of this row. We are getting to the end of our second row of single crochet. So the foundation row doesn't count. So you have to do your foundation row and then two rows of single crochet. So this is my last stitch here, this little bent guy. So make sure you go through both loops of the V. For your last single crochet, pull your loop up a little bit. Now we're going to cut our yarn, leaving enough of a tail to sew in with a darning needle. Take your hook out, and you'll see how mine's all curly cued. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't stress out. You did not do anything wrong. That is the joy of single crochet. It'll fix itself in a few more rows. So I'm going to slide my hook back down the stitch following the yarn of my loop. So I have it back down. And I'm going to pull up my, my um, leaf color. So I'm going to get a loop of that ready about four or five inches, enough to use a needle without too much of a fight. And I'm just going to uh, loop it onto my hook and pull my hook up through that stitch. So now my green is attached. I'm going to take my base color, my parchment, and pull it through just for a little bit of added security. And I'm going to hold my tails down while I get started on my, my leaves. So chain three, one, two, and three turn your work. So don't go into this first stitch, go into the second stitch. You're going to be making a V stitch, so double crochet, wrap your yarn, put it into the stitch, grab your yarn, bring it back, wrap your yarn, take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two. Chain one for the top of your V, wrap your yarn again and make another double crochet into the same stitch. So take off two, take off two. So that is our first V-stitch. Two double crochets and a chain one. We're going to be doing that all the way across. So skip two stitches, one and two. Wrap your yarn. Now drop your tails because we can't go over them anymore. We'll see them, so that's over with. But into the third stitch, you make another V-stitch. So that is a double crochet, a chain one, and another double crochet into the same stitch. Now we're going to go straight to our next V-stitch, so no chaining in between your V-stitches. You're just going straight from V-stitch to V-stitch, skipping two stitches and going into the third. So wrap your yarn, put it into the stitch, grab your yarn, bring it back, wrap your yarn, take off two, wrap your yarn, take off two, chain one for the top of your V, wrap your yarn, put it back into the same stitch, grab your yarn, bring it back, wrap your yarn, take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two. See, we're making those V's, like letter V. So do that all the way across, skipping two stitches and doing a V stitch into the third. So this is making our leaves. We're going to be putting our tulips for our next row. So skip two stitches, go into the third, double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the same stitch. So keep going all the way along your, your work and I will meet you at the end. Now we're at the end of our row. I'm making, skipping two stitches and making a V stitch here. A v stitch into the third, same as usual. Now there is an extra stitch here which we want. That's exactly what we want. If you end up your row and you don't have an extra stitch, just undo your V's a little bit, maybe over here, just skip one stitch, so put your V's a bit closer together, and then keep going back to the end so that you have an ex one empty stitch at the end. If you have two empty stitches, it's fine, just ignore it and put in your, into the very last stitch, you're going to do one double crochet one double crochet. So that finishes, that gives us something to stitch to when we're joining without messing up, without attaching straight to our leaves. So pull your loop up a little bit, cut your yarn again, and now get your tulip color. I'm using this coral. 
get a tail, um, make a loop four or five inches and put your hook back down into your stitch. You can of course join your colors however you like to join it but this is how I do it. Put your hook back down following this stitch. Put your new loop on your hook and pull it through to finish that double crochet and then pull up the yarn of your previous row which is my leaf. So now we're doing our tulips. I'm going to hold my tails down holding my tails down and I'm going to chain two, one and two. That's also going to give us something to stitch onto when we're joining our work or um, putting a border on. So we're not, we're not going to mess up our flowers. So chain two, turn your work, put your tails up over your work. We can go over them for one tulip. Okay, so wrap your yarn, go into the center of the, v, of the first V stitch, grab your yarn, bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two, two loops on your hook. We're going to do that five times. So wrap your yarn, put it through, grab your yarn, bring it back, wrap your yarn, take off two, three loops on the hook, and two double crochets into the V. This is our third double crochet. So wrap your yarn, take off two, so now we have four loops on our hook, three double crochets. Started, we're not finishing them. This is our next one. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So now that's four double crochets into our V-stitch. We need our last one, lucky number five. Wrap your yarn and take off two. And that leaves six loops on our hook. Wrap our yarn and take off all six. Chain two to get to your next tulip. So now drop your tails. We'll have to come back with a needle uh, for those ones. And we're going to be going into the next V, which is here. So we're just working into these Vs. That one, this one, all the way along. So wrap your yarn, put it into the V, grab your yarn, bring it back, wrap your yarn, take off two. Wrap your yarn, put it into the V, grab your yarn, bring it back, wrap your yarn, and take off two. Now at the end of each of these stitches, I'm pulling my hook up so that these loops are the same size. You don't have to pull them very far up, but you want the loops not to be so tight where you're fighting to get your stitches off. So that's two. Wrap your yarn, put it through, grab your yarn, bring it back, wrap your yarn, and take off two. Pull your hook. Wrap your yarn, put it in, grab your yarn, bring it back, wrap your yarn, take off two. Oops, take off two. There we go. So that's four. Wrap your yarn, put it through, grab your yarn, bring it back, wrap your yarn, take off two. That is six loops on our hook, five double crochets started into our V-stitch space. Wrap your yarn and take off all six loops. Chain two to get to your next space. Wrap your yarn put it into the V-stitch, grab your arm, bring it back, wrap your arm, take off two. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Wrap your yarn, take off all six loops, chain two. So do that all the way along your work and I will meet you at the end and show you how to finish off. We're making our last tulip. Five double crochets without finishing. Three, four, pulling up our hook a bit as it gets bigger five, wrap our yarn, take off all six, chain two like we always do. Now into this chain here, so not into the space, we're going to go into the top of this chain. It doesn't totally matter where you go because this is just going to be where we're joining. But we did our chain two here. Now into the top of this chain, I'm just going to push my hook in. I'm going to get two loops on my hook of some sort. See, so yeah, I have two loops on my hook. Um, and we're just going to do a single crochet. So bring your yarn back, wrap your yarn, and take off two. So that is how we're going to finish our edge. And see how that gives us a pretty straight edge. So pull your hook up a little bit, make a larger loop, cut your yarn, 
and we're going to move uh, back to our base color. In my case it is parchment. So get your yarn ready. Put your hook back down into that stitch following the yarn. Make a loop of your base color. Oops, a bit big. There we go. And pull it through your stitch. Pull your tulip color yarn up and out. Hold your tails down. And now we're back to our single crochet. So we're going to chain one, holding our tails down, turning our work. Now we're going to put our tails up on top of our tulips. I'm just going to hold mine back for this minute so you can see where I'm going. So now you're going to you're going to follow what you did before with single crochet. So into this space we made, we did a chain 2. So we are going to chain 2. 1 and 2. And I'm going over my tails. I have them behind here. I'm holding them. I'm trying to keep them out of the way so you can see where I'm going into my tulips. Now into your tulips, you can just go into this big stitch. There's two, I'll show you on this one. There's two stitches on the top of each of your tulips. I just go into the big one. You can pick whichever one you want to go into. It doesn't matter at all, but the big one is obviously easier and I don't really think that it matters too much. So put your hook in under both loops, put your tails on top, and do a single crochet. Now into the space in between, we did a chain two in between our tulips, so we are going to do two single crochets in between each tulip. So two single crochets and then into the top of the tulip, one single crochet. Into the space, two single crochets. Into the top of the tulip, one single crochet. And my tails, where are they now? Let me just make sure they're behaving. That's not my tail. There's my little white tail there. Give it a bit of a tug. I don't want it getting wrinkled up in there. And my other one? Okay. That's good. So I went into the top of the tulip. Now I'm going into the space. Two single crochets into each space. One single crochet into the top of each tulip. One, one and two. So each tulip gets three single crochets, basically. And you can see how cute they are coming along now. So keep going all the way to the end of your row, making one single crochet into the top of each tulip and two single crochets into the space in between each tulip. So into your last tulip, make a single crochet, and then into this chain space, this one is just a chain, is just one single crochet. So put one single crochet into there, and that gives us our nice edge for joining later. Okay, so on when you start, you're going into your tulips with your base color, you do two single crochets into that stitch, into the first space, and when you finish, you put one single crochet into that space. So two plus one, three, same as for your flowers, it keeps your number perfect. So chain one, and turn your work. Now we're going to go back into each stitch. This is your first stitch. If you're ever confused as to what your first stitch is, put your hook to the side so it pulls that chain to the side and you can see quite clearly that that is your first stitch. But if it's up here, you don't it, it sometimes it's more difficult to see. So pull your pull your hook to the side, take a look and it usually what helps me quite a bit. 
So single crochet, one into each stitch, going all the way back. And remember, you have to do a minimum of two rows of single crochet, so this is our second row. So you could stop after this and go back to leaves, or you can make two more rows or uh, after this row, so it's multiples of two. So you can do um, two rows in between your tulips, four rows in between your tulips, six rows in between your tulips, but it must be an even number. If it is an odd number, you'll be making your tulips into the up into the back side of your work. Your tulips will not all be facing the same direction. Some will be uh, reverse or backwards. And we can see this is our last stitch. So we single crochet into each stitch. Um, if you are going back to your grass, this is when we will change color to the green. I'm going to be putting two more rows of single crochet. So I'm going to be doing a chain one going back at the end of that row, chain one coming back, and then changing to the leaf color, which is my green. So depending what you're doing, um, make your distance between your rows of tulips, the, the distance that you want it to be, and then meet me back and I'll be changing color. I'm doing two more rows of single crochet. I finished my four rows of single crochet. I'm going into my last stitch to make my last single crochet. I'm pulling up my yarn a little bit to make a loop. Cut your yarn. So take your hook out, put your hook back down into that stitch following the yarn. Get your next color which is back to the leaf color green. Make a loop. Put it on your hook and pull through your stitch to join. Pull your tail up from your base from your base color and hold your tails down while you start. So to start our leaves, we chain three, one, two, and three. Now we're going to turn our work. Put our tails we can go over them for the first V stitch and then you'll remember we're not going into the same stitch as we joined, we're going into the next one. So depending how you look at it, we're going to skip this first white guy and go into the second white guy or base color, depending what color you're using for your base. So wrap your yarn, go into that stitch, bring your yarn back, making a double crochet, a chain one, a double crochet. So we're back to making our V-stitches. No chaining in between your V-stitches. One, two, three. Make a V-stitch into the third stitch going all the way back. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the third stitch going back along your work. So keep going. I'll meet you at the end. We'll do one more row of tulips together and you'll be a pro. Can't wait to see what you're working on. If you like this video, if you're enjoying it, please subscribe and also uh, tag us on Instagram with whatever your project is, whatever your tulips are. Uh, tag us with at Thimbles of Hope. And I will see you at the end of this row. At the end of your row, make a double crochet into the last stitch to make your edge. Pull up your yarn, cut, put your hook down through the same stitch following your yarn, make a loop of your new color or the color of your tulips. I'm going to be alternating between coral and watermelon just for something to do. So pull my tail up, added insurance, hold your tails down and chain two. One, two. That keeps our edge. Turn your work. Now we're going to be doing our clusters. Now if you don't want your clusters as puffy as mine, which I can show you, mine have a little bit of a texture. If you look to the side you can see they come up a little bit. There's like a bump to it. If you don't want the bump, um, if you want it to be more flat, you would just do clusters of three instead of clusters of five. 
So that is up to you. I'm going for bumpy. So turn your work, hold your tails down. Actually, you can hold them up on top of your work for your first cluster. Hold your tails on top of your first V stitch. So five double crochets without finishing them. One, two, three, four, and five. Six loops on your hook, wrap your yarn, take off all six, and chain two to get to your next space. Drop your tails and keep going all the way back. This is my last tulip, chain two, one and two, and this is where we single crochet somewhere to the top into this chain. So into the stitch, not the space, and we do a single crochet. So pull up your yarn and you're going to change back to your base color. Cut your yarn, get your base color ready, make a loop, put your hook back down into that stitch following the yarn, put the loop on your hook of your new color, your base color, and pull it up through that stitch. Pull up your tail, hold your tails down. Now we're going to be doing our single crochet back. So chain one, turn your work. So you can go over your tails for this now because it's single crochet. I'll just hold mine behind for now so I can show you again what we're doing. So into this space here we did a chain two. So we're going to be doing two single crochets into that space. One and two. And I'm going over my tails. I'm just holding them behind so you can see better. And into the big stitch on the top of your tulip, you're putting one into the tulip. And two into the spaces, one into the tulip. So do this all the way back and then you're right back to deciding how many rows you're putting in between or doing the same number as you did before. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see what you've made. Tag us on Instagram at, uh, at Thimbles of Hope. If you liked it, please share it with your friends. Please subscribe. And thanks for watching. Stay hooked.